Welcome to my Pocket Operator album update number one. Freebeat. Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome to Freebeat, where I post new music-related content every single day, so if that sounds good to you, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell. Today's patron shout-out goes to Dr. Druidge. Thank you so very much for the support. Let's get started. So today marks the start of the Pocket Operator album updates. My all Pocket Operator album, The Mechanist, is set to release summer of this year, 2022. This has been a project long in the making. I first announced it over two years ago, and at that point I had planned to release it uh, in just a couple months, you know, after that video came out, I actually released what I thought was going to be the first track, uh, the overture of the album. And uh, unfortunately, right after that, I wound up losing my job and COVID had just hit. So I decided to pour all of my time and energy into this channel and getting from, I think we were like at 240 subscribers, uh, getting from there to the point where the channel could be monetized so I could start you know, trying to at least pay a couple bills and work towards paying rent uh, with just the channel. And that wound up taking, you know, about a year. Uh, and so a year later, I went to go work on the album, but I realized that uh, my everyday uploading schedule uh, I, I really hadn't figured it out yet, as I discussed in a previous video. Uh, I hadn't figured it out yet by then, so it was taking all of my time. I didn't have any spare time for any side projects. But now, finally, I'm to the point where my daily uploading schedule uh, really only consists of Monday through Friday, 9 to 5. So I wind up having the weekends free to work on side projects, which is what this album is. And uh, I'm very, very proud to announce that I've started working on it. So if this is the first time you're hearing of my Pocket Operator album, let me read you a little summary. The Mechanist is an all-Pocket Operator album written in the style of a classic 16-bit JRPG video game. The album started as a simple idea, a concept album written on Pocket Operators telling a story of adventure. That story element eventually grew into an accompanying short story with the music taking on a heavy JRPG influence. Join our protagonist as she sets out to uncover the secrets of The Mechanist. So yeah, it's a concept album telling a story from start to finish. Uh, I'm not going to spoil anything else about it, but uh, this is the first time I've ever worked on an album that I had to storyboard, <laughs> which was uh, a very interesting experience. But that is all done. The story is done. The track listing is done, actually. And I am also pleased to announce that I have completed a track off of the album. Also, let me just throw this in here really quick. Uh, if you would like frequent weekly updates on The Mechanist, just head over to my Patreon page. There's a link in the description, or it's just patreon.com slash free. Beat. And uh, for only $1 a month, you can sign up at the like the very basic tier, and uh, that will get you access to my weekly Patreon vlog, uh, where I'm going to start dropping Mechanist updates. Well, I started uh, this past Tuesday, actually. And uh, it also gets you access to our private Discord server, uh, where I will also be posting a lot of Mechanist updates, including track previews and uh, looking for feedback and things like that. Plus, it's just a really fun place to hang out. Uh, so yeah, just a dollar a month, little shameless self-promotion there. Also really helps out the channel too, plus you get your name thrown into the hat for the little shout out at the beginning of the videos. But yeah, uh, as the story element grew, I became more and more excited for it, and uh, I started using the arcade a lot more, and that's how the album kind of took on a JRPG, uh, like a 16-bit JRPG vibe, and I'm really, really happy with where things are going. Also, the fact that I now have two working PO33s, well, PO133 and PO33, uh, means I'm able to be quite a bit more flexible in how I work on the album, which has been really refreshing. I think getting my hands on both of these was really the, the kick in the pants I needed to start working on the album, like for real, for real. <laughs> I'll talk a little bit about the recording process. Uh, so I'm writing the album entirely on the pocket operators, and I'm recording them into Ableton. And there's only a few things I'm actually letting myself use Ableton for. Uh, the first one is mixing, obviously. Um, it's hard to get pocket operator volumes right when you're chaining them together, uh, especially when you've got seven of them like I do. Uh, and there are a couple tracks that use all seven POs. And then I'm also letting myself use Ableton for one very basic reverb and one very basic delay. And that is it. 
Also, it's Ableton Live Lite, so it's the free version. Um, I wanted to keep the focus on the pocket operators, of course. Also, I have seven pocket operators, and Ableton Live Lite gives you eight tracks, so it really just works out perfectly. Like I said, I do plan on the album releasing in the summer of this year, 2022. Also, I'd like to talk about the next Freebeat live show. Really quick, first of all, thank you to everybody who's been asking when is the next live show. Uh, myself and Oliver, we put a lot of work into the live shows and uh you know the fact that people are now asking for them really makes it worth it so thank you to everybody who has inquired as to when the next show is obviously we haven't done one since last summer when we did uh one year later the reason for that is because oliver my best friend who uh is a huge part of the live shows we use his garage he writes all the lighting cues he comes up with the lighting design and the stage setup and, uh, you know, we just couldn't do the shows without him. He's a teacher. And from 2020 to 2021, of course, with COVID at its height, uh, he was teaching from home. So he'd basically be done at, you know, 345 every day. And then he'd just say, OK, come on over. I live just a few minutes from his house. And then we'd work on the live shows. That's how we were able to crank out, I think, four in the span of a year. He's back teaching in school now. And uh, he has a lot less free time. That's why we decided to only do the shows in the summer. Uh, that might change in the future, you know, especially if Lady Freebeat and I move into a house with a garage and uh, I can start learning about light programming myself. But yeah, for now, the giant shows with the full lighting setup, uh, those will only be in the summer. But because the Mechanist is coming out in the summer, that means that this summer's Freebeat Live show, hopefully late July, early August again, by the way, uh, will be centered around the Mechanist. Now, don't worry, there's going to be uh, normal Freebeat Live stuff in there too as well, but this one is going to be a very special live show, and you're not going to want to miss it. So there you go, a little update on the Freebeat Live shows. The next one is going to be uh, late July, early August. It's going to be centered around the Mechanist, but it's still going to be a proper Freebeat Live show. Don't worry. So there you have it. There's my Pocket Operator album update number one. I'll probably do one of these every month on the main channel leading up uh, to the release of the album. Again, if you want weekly updates, just sign up for the Patreon page at $1 a month and you'll get weekly updates, access to the Discord server, as well as things like uh, track previews. Last Tuesday, I released the track list uh, for patrons. So that's already available if you want to go check that out. Plus your support just means the world to me. And I hope you're all excited for The Mechanist. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to leave a like on it. If not, you can always leave a dislike. That's okay, too. It doesn't hurt my feelings, just makes me try that much harder next time. Either way, be sure to hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell. Thank you all so very much for being here. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.